Yeah, I'm Greg Dalston, a uh, retired union inspector. Uh, I started the industry in 1974, so I've had about 45 years in the underground coal mining industry in Queensland. And I had 25 of that, 45 years as a district union inspector slash ISHR. It's important, in my opinion, for workers to report safety incidents, not just the incidents, but also the hazards. Safety incidents, some workers think they only needed to report HPIs, high potential incidents, but every hazard that they identify is important to be reported. Workers have an obligation before they go to their workplace to determine the state of their workplace, which is reading an underground deputies inspection or an AMCUT, AMCUT examiner's inspection to determine the state of the workplace before they go there. Their next obligation after that is when they get to the workplace to do their own inspection of the workplace to identify hazards that they believe could have hurt those people or their workmates, other coal mine workers. It's important to do this so one, there's a record of how many times a certain hazard has appeared before it becomes a major incident and often a fatality. The other reason it's important is more the obligation of, that the workers have to go home to their family safe and not identifying hazards and not reporting them in the correct manner, then their families are at risk of not having their loved one home that afternoon. And I think that should be the biggest driver for any worker rather than any obligation under legislation. The first consequence is the potential for injury to yourself or others. The second consequence is that those hazards are then only taken as a you know, infrequent matter and not as a recurring matter, which then should escalate up to a higher level within management to make sure that controls are put in place to control those hazards to prevent harm to workers. Obligations on people to report safety incidents starts from the coal mine worker at the face to their supervisor, and steps up through the management structure, so the deputy or the AMCAT examiner, the shift supervisor, and then the manager, in the case of an underground, or the SSE in the case of an AMCAT or an underground, and then also to the operator. The operator has responsibility to report safety incidents to the spectrum. So there's a range from the bottom to the top, but the most important person in reporting a safety incident is the peep, or the hazard is the person that actually sees that hazard, and therefore you know what it was, what the signals were that it occurred. So even if it's gone when someone goes back to check on it, you can explain those things to them and therefore they can try and address that matter. The main thing is having a positive reporting structure and the next thing then is making sure that the senior people are actually addressing those things and reporting back to the workers on what they've done. Even if they come back and say, look mate, it was wasn't any big, this is what it was, so they can explain why it happened. And if the work is comfortable then, then they'll work inside their comfort zone rather than working in fear of being injured. The feedback loop is probably the most important thing for a lot of people, because then they understand that if they report something, they can answer back. And then if they report something the first time, they'll report more the next time and the next time because they know they get an answer back. Whether they agree with the answer or not is like I said, they should be then going to someone else and asking some questions. But if you don't get any feedback, then do you bother keep reporting? The importance is that even if that reporting goes up to someone that can give you an answer, the reports need to go through so they end up in the safety management system and are action, or at least looked at by senior management, at least the mine manager or the SSE. To anyone working in the industry, but especially a new person coming into the industry, or even a new person going from to a new mine. The best advice I can do is read my shirt. Stand up, speak out and come home. Because if you don't stand up and speak out about a hazard, then there for God's grace, you mightn't come home. And the main reason you're going to work in a mine is to raise money for your livelihood and your family's livelihood. So the most important thing you should think about every day is your family and make sure you work safe so they can see you this afternoon. Why it's important to report hazards is that you might report, a, you might see a hazard today and not report that hazard. Someone else sees that hazard tomorrow and doesn't report that hazard. And Mara number two is a good example. The next matter with uh, reporting is, and I take this one pretty personally, was um, 
I've had to go unfortunately to a number of families' homes, go to the funeral first, so go to the mine site and do the investigation. And when you do the investigation, you find out things like going back through reports and someone had mentioned something, someone had done something, but it hadn't been investigated and controlled, so it was unacceptable level of risk. And then that leads to people like myself, when I was a district union inspector, have to then go to a funeral and then also have to go and report to the workers after the funeral. The wife and three daughters after one example were out to go to their house and the camper trailer ready for Christmas had the Christmas presents on it and they were ready to go on holidays but their father hadn't come home because someone had seen a rib that wasn't safe, seen a management being down that day and said their lights didn't shine far enough to see the hazard and yet here it is we've got three teenage girls and a wife lose their father and their husband. And the hard part for me was going to explain to them and show them some pictures to explain what their father or husband was doing and how the accident happened. And the only joy that I do get out of doing that was, at least you can say, these are controls that all the industry will have in place after that to stop that happening again. But it really gets you down sometimes at night time when you hear about another incident, the same as the first one, and all those controls that they've been put in place to, as a result of that person losing their life weren't followed. So report incidents, follow up incidents, and make sure that you don't repeat history.